Hello, my name's Alan Hobbs and I'm here today to demonstrate how to measure the earth fault loop impedance at a distribution board like this one here. This measurement is often called ZE. However, ZE is only really correct when it is measured at the first distribution board of the installation for the external in impedance of the installation. Basically, when connected and the button pressed, it fires a current of up to 25 amps or so through the loop, depending upon the impedance of the circuit. The time of the pulse is limited to 40 milliseconds. Two cycles on a 50 hertz supply, and this is for safety. Now, you need to know what you're measuring the loop for, and what, loop, what is the loop that you're measuring, in fact. It helps. So what I've shown you here is a delta star transformer. can be seen on almost any street corner throughout the country. It's a DY11, it's known as because of its winding configuration. The delta winding has got 11 kV on it, and our, the one we're interested in, the star winding, has got 230 volts from the center point neutral to the supply, or it's 400 volts across there. But we're just going to show a single phase circuit for today, keep it simple for the purpose of this exercise. Okay, so we'll draw a line conductor out to a protective device, we'll just show that as a fuse at the source of your supply, that's a line conductor, okay, and then that will go through some sort of a load which we'll just show like this, it can be anything from a, a lighting circuit, street lighting, anything you like, that comes back there to the start point of the transformer. So your load current then will flow through here happily working away back to the start point of the transformer. So that's your line to neutral loop. Okay, that's fine. Now if oh, this, 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 this will be contained normally in some sort of an exposed conductive part which is metallic, for example a distribution board. If you have a fault on it then you may get a fault from the line conductor to the exposed conductive part of the piece of equipment that you're testing. This piece of equipment will be connected to earth and we'll show it as a TNS connection for the moment. That's where the neutral and the earth conductor or the earth bonding conductor yeah, are separate. Now, your, your current that's going to flow for the fault is, is from, generated from the winding of this transformer, from this winding back from the generator of the power supply. This will go through here, down here, through the fault, and then back through this earthing conductor here. And that's your loop. There it is. That is your line to earth loop. And you need to know the impedance of that line to earth loop so that you can see whether the current that will flow from that 230 volt supply through that loop will be sufficient to operate this protective device in the given time. I'm going to show you uh, exactly where you measure the ZE and for that matter the ZS as well. It's nice to know exactly what you're measuring when you do these jobs. So you can see I've got the transformers I showed you. Um, this is the demark, demarks the building line of the installation that we're doing here. This is the <coughs> intake point, the first protective device into the system, which I've shown as a fuse. This is the uh, neutral coming into the system. And this is the main earth terminal. I've shown a uh, piece of equipment in the uh, system and uh, an exposed metal conductive part around that piece of equipment like so. Right, now let's just remind you how to do a ZE measurement first. You're going to actually measure the, the impedance of the loop as I've already explained to you. And th but, we're, but in this case we're going to measure it from here to here, the MET, the Earth. Those two points there, from there to there. Yeah? And that, that's the ZE. So that loop will be through a 
resistance or a fault here, down here, through here, through here, round that way there. And that is measuring the loop impedance external to the building, hence ZE. Now when you press the button on this instrument, you're actually putting a low resistance across these two terminals from here to here. And that's measuring the ZE. But to do that measurement and make sure you get an actual accurate reading, you, you don't want any of this part in it to give you any spurious earth connections for the current to go down. We want a true reading back to the start point of this transformer. So what we have to do is, we've got to disconnect this earth here from that system and measure onto that earth. But naturally, before we can take that earth connection off of there, we must disconnect the building supply, otherwise you'll have a whole electrical system operating in here without any earth protective device conductors on it at all. Ready to start the loop impedance testing, but before we do, I want to remind you that this video is only a demonstration and it's no way uh, to give you competence or authorization. You have to get that elsewhere. So, with the supply switched off and the warning label in place and the switch locked off, I'm satisfied that this board is safely isolated. This will permit me to remove the earth connection which I've already done meaning that I've only got this single earth connection back to the star point of the transformer and back down to the earth connection which is here. There we go. So we're going to test from the line, of, there's three phases in here by the way, um, we're going to test from phase one, phase two and phase three one at a time and we're going to check the loop impedance for each of those. We're putting the, we're putting the short circuit on between the line and the earth through this meter. When I press this button it will actually put a low resistance across this meter for a very short time. In fact I mentioned before less than 40 milliseconds. So here we go then. I'm on the line. Now it's important to see you've got the correct lights up on your meter to show you haven't got anything crossed over or any volts missing or whatever else. So I've got two green lights here which show I'm correctly connected. I've got a voltage of 236 volts. So I'm about to press this button and put this resistance inside this meter across the line and uh, and sorry across the line and earth conductors. Press the button, and we get a reading of 0.49 ohms. So there you have it. We've taken all the necessary precautions. We've carried out a proper Z inks board. We can compare those readings to the MCB ratings and the time of disconnection uh, with BS 7671 and uh, following that we can move on. We mustn't forget to, of course to restore this distribution board back to its safe condition, operational condition. Warn everyone that the supply is about to come on, make sure everybody's happy with that and then we can restore the supply to the installation. I hope this has been of some help to you. My name's Alan Hobbs. Good luck with your testing.